Is this flat Earth here? Well, I mean, it, I think it's flat, stationary. 24-7 flat Earth room. Right. Because if it, if it, what else would it be if it's not reality? Wow. Uh, what do you uh, consider? Because there's a video being made, right? I think it. We I think we did it in here. What video? Um, have you heard of Petey? Petey, who? Yeah. Well, he's. He seems to be the uh, geometry whiz for the <laughs> globe guys, right? Last week. Um, QE and Adam. Uh, Nathan Oakley did a thing about the eight inches per mile squared, right? It's a big hot topic at the minute. It's only eight inches for the first mile, then it's like more, you know? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight inches per mile squared, I said. It's a, it's squared, a that's where the miles are squared, yes. That is oh, oh, okay. Yes, okay. yes, yes. That's yeah. where the miles are oh, squared, okay. we understand. Oh, that. My bad, my bad. Because it is a curve, it's not a line, right? Okay, what's go ahead, Beth. What's a curve? No, that's Pythagorean. It's part of... Uh, Pythagorean, right? But yeah, yeah, we understand. We understand that. Okay, but that's so, just the so they the average a... form to get the average formula of the drop rate, right? That's the drop rate. That that's what the curvature is. Is the well, drop rate, right? Drop over distance, thing. right? Uh, Adam QE and all of that did a thing where it, it's wrong, apparently. Oh, is it now? Well, apparently, that's Whoa. what they were saying, right? And they came Whoa. up with this why, new why, formula. Why would it be wrong? Why would it know. be wrong? Don't know. Like, but, but okay, a, so, so they just said they just bullshit. straight wait. There's... No, no, hold on, hold on, bad, 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 bad. Before we get off this, what they wouldn't explain to you why it's wrong. No, they did a show, an entire ball busters about it. Adam, had right, a right. Presentation. So they didn't explain to you why it's wrong. But why would they? So you don't know why it's wrong. Well, the contention yes, they is said why it's wrong. The contention is. Okay, what's the con Right? Okay. Uh, have you heard of the Professor Dave that isn't a professor? Yeah, that piece of garbage, right, sure. Right. Well, he did a, a 10 things flat earthers get wrong or something like that. You know, we're one of those videos that they do, right? Big fucking deal. Okay, right. go. He did it and he said that um, that eight inches was wrong. The right? per mile squared is wrong. That's what yeah, you say. That's what Professor Dave said, right? But then mm -hmm. McToon went on and he said that uh, Professor Dave, that isn't a professor, got it wrong and that it was um, it was accurate for the actual drop, right? Because uh, the contention is that you, you're looking, right? Everybody wants to put optics in. So refraction is the issue. But... Uh, when you're using the formula eight inches, that's correct, apparently, by McToon. Although people, you know, want to at inject some sort of optical thing into it, right? That's the contention. Bev, let yeah. me stop you for a second. Eight inches per mile squared was the one thing you used to be able to Google. What's the drop rate of Earth or what was the curvature of Earth? And that's the number they would fucking give you from fucking NASA themselves. Not that. Yeah. That's no, not it, the no, only no, thing. no, no, that was robot. Hold on. That's not the only thing. You can use the Pythagorean formula to get it a precise. And you got to understand why applying the triangle, the right angle triangle to that curve and why you get that R plus one. If you understand that, why? That radius plus one is there, and then you do the fucking formula itself. Then you'll understand why that formula is precise up to at least 2,000 miles, my guy. It's actually a precise enough formula because if you actually do the quadratic equation, if you want to do the quadratic formula, right, and use that fucking approach and then figure out your drop rate, the actual fucking end result is almost the fucking same, Bev. What the fuck are you guys talking about? I don't know. I'm I'm just saying that the Adam came up with a new thing, right? So Adam and all of them did that. Then I came here and had a discussion with a few people about that, right? About do you how, think it's wrong? You how think, okay, there's a Beth, contention. Ben, yeah. Do you think if the radius of Earth was approximately four thousand miles, do you think the curvature rate or the drop rate would be eight inches per mile squared, or would you? It would it be something else, Beth? 
I I don't do fantasy maths. I've always said that. What do you mean fantasy math? This is not fantasy math. This is actual math. This is tr trigonometry. It's real math. Mm -hmm. Is it eight inches per mile squared? Is trigonometry? Is it? No, that's the actual formula that you get through the fucking right angle triangle no, on the circle. The, that's the formula that was given to you by Robotham. The flat no, that formula society. you can derive it. You, you can derive it yourself. Listen, just okay. Listen, you take the circle. You draw a circle on a piece of paper. You get the radius. You draw the R right. And with that R, you draw a right angle triangle using that R on that circle, right? And then you use the Pythagorean formula and then redraw that, right? But you got to make sure that R plus one exists. You can't just have an R and an R because that's like the fucking, what do you call it? A uh, isosceles triangle, I think, where both sides are the same. Yeah, that's, this is not, no, you need, you, need a, you actually need a fucking, uh, the R plus one in the formula. You got to understand why the R plus one is. It's R. And then the plus, the R plus one in the parentheses. You got to understand why that is there. Uh -huh. I know but, you don't understand. If my, it's really hard for you to understand math, Bev, but you got to understand what I'm talking about. If you've done this before, you got to understand. You got to know what I'm talking about, too. Do you understand you what I'm talking about? don't understand what I'm trying to say, right? I'm trying to give you the series of events. And the reason I understand. Why I'm, I'm asking you the it. question, and you're telling me I don't do fantasy math. I, mean, uh, yeah, I understand that answer. I don't do fantasy maths. So what is fantasy maths? It's where you uh, fantasize about something and then make up mathematics uh, to deal with it. I only deal with reality. Oh, so so not existing radius you don't want to do any math on a non-existing radius that's yeah, what yeah. you're saying yeah if, if it can't comport but, reality, but i mean I'm but, but i mean really if... interested about it because right that's but the what point that i was trying to get to if you you know go ahead when we when we came here after that we were discussing it and how the formula works and how it would work in reality right the uh, difference between what happens over a mile and what happens over a half mile, right? Because it's a quadratic formula with the square function, that if it's eight inches over a mile, uh, then over a half mile, it also has a value. Yeah. Right? Well, I come Four from- five, yes, so. I come from Four reality. five miles squared, how much is that? Even one inch, there is a well, they say over one inch or even one millimeter, there's some little curvature, you know, that's what they claim. There has to be, if you know, if you do in yeah, fantasy yeah. maths, but yeah, yeah, I came over it. Well, you're on a ball, out. your ball's always curving, it has to curve, no? Yeah, the surface of a sphere is a con surface of constant curvature, so it has mm. to, yeah. Right, so well, we don't see that in reality, though, right? We don't, don't see do a fantasy, constantly yeah, curving terrain. I don't terrain. do fantasy maths. No, well, I mean, Bev, Bev, have you ever seen constantly curving terrain? You, um, like land, yeah, up and down, hills and valleys. Have you seen that? No, no, but like constantly the, curving in a consistent manner, dunes. always. No, Bev, I, listen to the question. Bev, have you ever seen land well, or water well, that would curve? consistently over a distance well the globe earth is like i've driven hundreds of miles in a straight direction and like i don't see it and the globe earth is, would say you wouldn't notice it because it's only eight inches for the first mile for instance yeah but but then they tell you in the next breath that they see boats going over a fucking horizon bottom first i've never seen that i've seen boats disappear not like uh go down I, i've seen like uh <laughs> No, but Globers will tell you that they see the curvature of Earth because boats go over the horizon and the physical obstruction of the curvature blocks it from view. I don't right? see that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know, but that's what the Globers would tell you. Right, so right, yeah, Scott, they also say, they also say when, when they're up in a fucking plane, they can see the fucking Earth's curvature. Okay, well, the, right. There's a guy curvature. making a video about the conversation I had with uh, you guys in here about that eight inches per mile so okay. Okay. the guy from the geometries right so the way it goes is um qe and adam 
uh, do a, an entire show about this eight inches per mile squared and, you know, how they say it's wrong. So they came up with a new one. Adam came up with a new number. No way. What? What's the new number? Tell I me, I don't please. know. I wasn't listening. Like I say, I don't listen oh, to fantasy Oh, come on. Go oh, watch it. Man, what the fuck? Go what are you, what are you saying this shit, shit for if you it's... don't have the details, man? There's a video. It's a ball buster. I'm not going to go watch, some watch some it. Video. Man, I'm not going to go watch some video because you told me to, man. Come on, man. You got to tell me the nice. Give me the fucking details right well, now, Adam, bro. Come Adam, on, I don't even know man. why he was doing it, but he was saying there's something wrong with it. Oh, right? man. Then I come in here and talk to you guys about it. And now somebody else is making another video about it. So this eight inches, no that's what I'm pointing out is this eight inches per mile squared. Get on it because it's going to be popular. It's a big thing, obviously. I, I, I hope so, bro. It's going to start stirring up the flat earth even more. It's going to be great. Fantastic. Let's get the math involved. Fuck yeah. A lot of people are going to be fucking butt sore after that one, though. Ha! Yeah. Well, obviously, two you... plus two is four and never fucking goes five, bro. I don't know what they're talking about, man. Well, that's the point. That's the what I was saying was if there's a measurement for the mile, eight inches, what's the measurement for the half mile? Well, what's a, well, convert the half mile. What's a half do, mile? Do your maths. It's a point five, right? It's point five, right? It's not one. It's point five, yeah, right? Go on. One point five squared. How much is that? Well, now, you were the maths guy. You said, I don't know anything about maths, didn't you? Well, you know, you said, I don't know anything about maths. I don't do fantasy math. I'm asking you, Bav, man. I don't know, man. What's point? What's point 0.5 squared, what's man? The, this, that's, what was the problem? When I asked everybody when I came around here, nobody seemed to know. What the what? half mile distance was? Nobody has a claim. Nobody would know what. Nobody was able to multiply zero point five times zero point five. Nobody was able to do that. Yeah, nobody knows the function. It's point two five. We, uh, Scott, no shit. Scott's done it because Scott listened to the conversation the other day. He'll be in touch with PT, the uh, GeoGebra king of globe. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it, it would curve inverted curve you're telling me so the point five would start curve inverted uh i don't think that's is that what you were telling him scott you're giving him false information i think i i don't i don't know man i don't know where this point five got in fucking you brought it because i think this i think this whole fucking formula was all about whole numbers man Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Uh -huh. I, but do you I don't think maths about the disappears because you, you know. No, you can you can do maths with like not like point five, obviously. You just use the Earth curve calculator. Like we shouldn't be expected to do it in our heads. Yeah, just use one over two. Oh, the calculator. Yeah, yeah. You go. Just use the fr yeah the fraction. But that's why it's fraction, it's different it. because the you know that's different. That's why there's. Well, a I mean, okay, so, so okay, okay, Bev, okay, because Bev. You're so, okay, what's the what's what's the square root of nine, Bev? What? What's three. the square root of nine? I'm asking Bev. Wow, uh, right. three. Okay, <laughs> okay, Bev. So, what's the square root of negative one? I haven't got a clue. Why? Isn't that like an impossible number? Is square that is that one? to get you? Um... It's I. I'm just saying, you, 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 huh? What, what yeah, is it? Yeah, imaginary number I. Yeah. Yeah, it's I. It is I. Yeah. But I'm asking Bev. Yeah. Why is it I? Why isn't it? What isn't it solved? Why does it all of a sudden turn into a fucking uh, alphabet number? I mean, alphabet letter. Citizens of Flatardia. I, I guess got that would. Reading science and reason. <laughs> so I would say because negative one, the square root of negative one doesn't equal a real number. So does that imply that maths is like unreliable or something? No, no, no. You still what's, use what's negative the number one, for right? the you half still mile? use the square root of negative Anyone one. You still yet? use it. So you're using a different way of getting around this, you guys. I don't know. You just use a calculator. How do I? Oh, let, let me do it. Like, yeah. 
distance, what is it? One mile, no, 0 0.5 miles. Calculate. Uh, 0.17 feet. You don't what? see the problem. Well, yeah, yeah, well, you're not seeing a problem in that. That's the funny part, man. You're not seeing no, the no. problem. Um, no, I'm just doing what you asked me to do, like the 0 0.5. Is, oh, well, the, you know, that was pointing out a point, right? With the formula, right? Bev is not understanding that there's limitations to all kinds of shit. That's why I pointed out the square root of negative one. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's, there's that's limitations to math and there's a limitation yeah, yeah. to that formula. And, and then all of a sudden, Bev reached that limitation and now they're saying, oh, there's a gotcha. Now the formula is broken because we just, we try to do a 0.5. No, you know that's, I mean? that's no, not what I'm saying. The formula is not broken. I'm, I'm trying to get, get, the fuck I'm trying to, get to the point that I was getting to um, when <laughs> we were the here point? the other day. But like, uh, once again, it becomes a little bit uh, tricky. You said you guys are doing some math and magics trying to get this fucking formula to break. That's interesting. Uh, I'm not trying to do anything. Like that. Well, why all. are you pointing it out then? Because yeah, the still works, I was just wondering it? what, you know, like, is the a lead up to this work. video that's being made about the conversation I had last time I came here to talk about this. The formula is, is a curve, right? So, I mean, the, the, the sphere curves, right? Well, there you go. So, we don't see a curving Earth, right, Bev? Do you see the curving Earth? But if you use I, the imaginary number, as the number of miles, it would break the formula, right? Yes, I, I do see the Earth curving, yes. You see the Earth yeah. curving, Ben? I where? call them hills yeah, and valleys, no, um, no, mounds. You know, yeah, you, you know no, what he that's... means. You know what he means, and you're deliberately just... Well, like, do you, do you not means. see that? The, the curvature of the Earth, I don't. I see hills and valleys, but I don't see the coach. Right, but you don't call that earth, do you not? No. <laughs> There's different types of earth. See, we're, 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 we're talking uh, about the curvature of the earth. He's not talking about hills and valleys, obviously. Well, I don't know. What is he talking with, about? Then? Words... I always said I had to no, do no, that. Like, like, dumb. Hold on, hold like, on. Dumb, man. Yamu, 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 Yamu. Relax. Hold on. Let me explain what Bev has troubles with. Bev has troubles with. When one word can mean a whole bunch of different things, you know what I mean? That's what Bev has troubles with. The law of right? identity. Yeah. So, yeah, so he I takes shit out of crucial. no, no. He purposefully takes. So instead, when we say Earth, like when me and you, Yamu, right? When we, me and you, between us, we're talking, and when I, I say Earth, you understand us. Mother Earth, like the whole big shebang where e. all the animals, the water, the trees, that's the whole yeah, Earth yeah, encompassing. Yeah. That's what we're talking about, right? But yeah, when yeah. Bev says yeah, fucking Earth, do you know what that. Bev is trying to imply here? Is the fucking dirt you're walking on. The land. Right? That's okay. the fucking problem here. That's the disconnect, right? And when I'm trying to tell that and point that shit out to Bev, Bev completely ignores me. Well, no, I, that's I, a fucking I, I can see that, but I'm just trying Bev to get the communication. Is fuck. It's bad faith. No, like, Bev, you're fucking stupid. actually not understand what, what we're talking about when we say the curvature of the Earth. And you're like, oh, it's hills and valleys. Like, that's not what we're talking about, obviously. Right. Well, that's what I'm talking about, because we're talking about the no. eight inches per mile squared. You know, the formula that we're going to use. But Earth's curvature, not for hills and valleys. Yeah. You don't use that for hills and okay. valleys. Hey, shout out to the Rumble viewers. Okie dokie. Are the Rumble Come viewers Rumble even? Right the bot's not even in here, is it? Hi, mom. I'm no, 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 it's 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 my there. streamers, and I, and all of a sudden I got like viewers because we're having a crazy conversation. How Bev is fucking retarded. No, it's okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so, and I'm right there. Shout, with you, Bev. Don't worry. Don't worry, shout out to the rumblers. Shout so out. So you'll be rumblers. talking like that, dude. Deccan. <laughs> Pretty slang. Like, yeah, never mind. Yeah, it's a little like, hostile. Fuck your Ooh. viewers. Your, How about that? Your no, misunderstanding because... isn't your viewers' problem, right? That may, they well, may be well, joining in to listen to your misunderstanding of the conversation that's going on. Really? Yeah. No, really? you're the one misunderstanding what we mean by Earth's curvature. You okay. you applied that to hills and valleys for some well, weird what's reason. The, right? this, what's the half mile... And nice he's going to avoid the point. Yeah, look, look. See, no, you're trying to avoid the point said, yeah, in the fucking... You see what he just said? Yeah, I'm I'm just ignore what you said, the half right? mile. I posted the half mile. It's 0.17 feet. I used the Earth curvature calculator. So what's, that's... What's that? Your what's that in inches? 
feet and inches? Fuck, I don't know. I'll do, why don't you find out? I'll go check. Multi point multiply, seven. multiply, multiply by 12. So I don't use Imperial because I'm Australian. I use metric. 0 0.17 uh, feet into inches. How many inches is that? 2.04 inches. So two inches. Okay. Over half a mile. Right. Well, watch two. this. Watch this. If you go half right. a mile and you drop two inches and then you go another mile, a half a mile, and you drop another two inches, how far have you travelled and how far have you dropped? So if, if it depends if you're counting from where you started or both half points. You measure in a drop from where you started. No, 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 you're not listening to me. So if you if you're counting from point A to point B, right? Yep. So point A is um one mile away from point B. Mm -hmm. You go half a mile, that's two inches, mm -hmm. and the total mile is apparently eight inches. Yep. From point A. Yep. But if you go from point A point A sorry, how do I explain this? Point A two which is a halfway point, then it's an only two inches. Yeah. And if you go the other half a mile? If how you, far, if you just, how if you far just do you counting, drop? If, you, if you're just counting half a mile, it should be 2.04 inches, right? Yeah. That's what the Earth calculator says. So if you, if you do it in half mile segments, you're only going to get four and a bit, right? According to your calculator. I'd say four because it's no, quadratic. No. The quarter. No, Scott no. did even, say even 0.25 you, earlier. Even even you if you do one inch that. at a time, if you if you let's say you do one inch at a time, it'd be if you go less. over a whole. If you do one inch at a time over a whole mile, it'll still be eight inches. No. Yes. No, we're not you, according you to that up. formula. No, no. No, you just don't. You're not understanding what math. Well, I'm not is, understanding and, it. And how they do it? Oh, oh. because 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 the curvature like is like a almost. It's like it's not linear, right? It's a curve. It's a sphere. That's what your globe model says, right? So it's it's you can't just say like go half half a mile oh it's two inches go another half a mile it's two inches it, it's it's two inches from that for that, for that half mile but if you're going the full mile if you're Listening. counting from point A it's going to be eight inches for the whole full one yeah. mile yeah that's see that's the problem right because on my globe model um there's no drop you're a globe model hey see globe he just admitted he's a glober see Bev I knew you were a fucking glober. Yeah, yeah, the, re the real uses globe. A globe? <laughs> this guy fucking is a globe. He's, he's a Why didn't he he's smash it into the ground? That makes it flat. That's that's why he's always contesting everything fucking flat earthers say because he's a globe. You should have 3D printed a globe model that's flat. The real globe, you know I mean, right? Well, we all live yeah, on it, don't we? Good job, the man. real globe is it. so crazy to say. Why? Yeah, why don't why don't you just admit you're you a globe or like you can't say that if you go half half a mile it'll only be two inches per each like part into the formula it'll, it'll it'll no no because the formula you're you you you're moving the goalposts that's what you're doing if you're doing that you're moving the goal points you post you're putting point a the starting position in the half mile like if I could draw this you'd understand right Go on, I'll, draw, I'll draw, I'll draw it. I'll draw it on paper. Yeah, I'll draw it on paper. Paint right and now. share. Yeah, paint and share the screen so Bev can look at this nice, pretty drawing you're gonna draw. I want to share the screen, but I'll post it in the chat. Hang on. Or you can post it in the chat. So I'll just draw this simply with a straight line. But but there's nothing you can draw that Bev will understand. He's an idiot. Wow. You well can done, try. Scott. You, 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 Why? You, you, I you're a shot. Like yeah. Look, look, I've got this. I've got it here for you. In the, if you look in the Scott, uh, you chat and Bev there, are almost at the same level right now, Scott. You can guys you see in the? Up. Can you see in the chat? It's what I call the short numbers, or we call them the Ruhif numbers. Uh, these Bev are the pedantic these trick. are the numbers for every one hundred meters uh, from a starting point. Obviously, I didn't do them, but they're to five uh, decimal places to the millimeter. So you can check them yourself if you know, if you know any mathematicians uh, but that's the, this is the contention look at the accuracy of that and, and we've got adam saying it's wrong I mean, people say it's wrong fight the flat earth told me ages ago that you know perfect maths it's different 
they use a different formula. Now, hang on. Zero. What's the measurement that I already posted for We did this years ago. Like years ago. 2.04 It's inches, amazing it's coming back again. 0 0.17 feet. Just put this in my drawing. 0.17 feet from over there. I have to draw. I wish I could draw. I wish the fucking had a paintbrush tool. Where's the paintbrush tool in this fucking paint? Can you uh, can there. you guys get what I'm saying? Or like you know, are you uh? Have you still not understood what I'm saying? No, you didn't you understand, understand what, what I was saying. saying. The, the bigger you understand picture. what you're saying, dude. You don't understand what you're saying. Like, you, you, it's, it is it is 0.17 feet or 2 inches and 2.04 inches per 0 0.5 miles according to the Earth curvature calculator. Mm -hmm. But but that doesn't mean you can just make that 2 inches, like, drop every half a mile for, like, the whole... Well, if you do it in 100 for, for meters, miles miles. you'll get even less. But that's misunderstanding the point of math. You're moving the goalpost. It's moving the goalpost between point A and point B. That's making that's making a new point A, like a new starting point. If you use the original starting point, it'll go to eight inches. Two zero point five. If you move 0. 0.5 miles and get 0. 0.17 feet curvature and another 0. 0.5 miles, if you go back to point A, that's still one whole mile, which has become which is eight inches drop, according to the calculator. Mm -hmm. According to the calculator, yeah. Uh, what I'm coming from, because I do come from a, a reality standpoint, right? I've done surveying. Uh, so the practical application of this would be um, in uh, segments, right? So if you were to measure a drop over a mile, uh, then you would do it in short segments or you would use a tool called a water level. Now that water level could do a half mile, a full mile. Um, Bev, if there's no deviation from the laser and the water, is there curvature? Um, well, we have a test called the realizing Euclid test, and it it's to show oh, that a if I shoot line, a laser, Bev, I ask you this question so many used, fucking times, and you never answer used, the question. You always go used, somewhere else. It's used to see, uh, show yeah. how a straight line lies within a plane. The realizing Euclid test. Listen, Bev, if I shoot a laser across a large body of water and that laser does not show any deviation from the water... It would do, though, because you don't fire lasers over water, yeah. It would. It gives inaccurate readings, especially... So FE core experiment, so the FE core experiment is wrong, or whatever they did, these FE core people, right, when they shot a large laser across a large rip, body of water... FE core ripped me, me off. Ripped me off. They ripped you off. I don't care how much yeah. they ripped you off. But what they did, what they did was wrong, you're saying, right? Mm. Yeah. I'm asking you, is FE Core wrong in what they did? Yeah. Well, what did they do? They shot oh, a laser. I explained me this off. a million yes. fucking yes. times. Yes, FE Core Listen. were wrong to rip me off. Yes. No. Of course they I were wrong. I don't care if good. I know. I'm happy they ripped you off. Now that you told me, it was this fantastic news. Thank God they ripped you off because you're you, fucking prick. Did you pay in for prick. membership here, for FE Core? I didn't. I no. I'm not no, stupid well, to pay for any fucking there you memberships. Go. So this listen, thing that listen, you're using, your problem. you have I don't care to about do. your you grievances with what they anything. are or what <laughs> you I did. did with them. Listen to me very carefully. Well, I don't care about your grievances with them. My question to you is, when they shot a laser across that large body of water and showed no deviation, it was are they wrong or right? Laser waving over water. Yeah, it's not a good idea. That isn't it? La lasers over water is not a good idea. Why? Um, because uh, lasers react with the water, uh, with the air mm. above the water. Mm. To make it no way. How, about, how much? How much do they? How much do they react with the air well, and the water? Know, it's just inaccurate. <laughs> how? When I, like, give from, me a talk from when I've give me a to, tolerance percentage, man. Okay, I've, how inaccurate? Give me a tolerance percent. In in conversations that I've had with surveyors 
Um, whenever they have to do anything for bridges over water or whatever, I don't care about any of that shit. You're just hearsay now, Bev. You're saying talk, Let me talk. What the fuck is my fucking paint retarded? He's got a live show going on, Rumble. Oh, apparently. Um, how do I increase the fucking text size of this? So, if it almost finished my drawing, explain that, like, it shows you why, like, what you're saying. Oh, what the fuck is this? Pain is retarded, dude. Stop it. What were we talking about before this is done? We're talking um, about the uh, eight inches per mile. Apparently, there's before. obviously there's a bone of contention, but what yeah. I was trying to get at was there's a guy making a video about a conversation that I had over here last time I okay. came here to talk about eight inches per mile squared. Right after Adam and QE and Nathan had just done a ball busters special on uh, how they made a new um, number or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's what we're talking they... about, but I mean, it seems to get shouty man and somebody's That's okay. doing something. I'm sure you have your thoughts collected and ready to use at any moment. Hey, here's, here's, the, here's the um diagram I've drawn up. That took me way too long. But um, it, you, can't, you can't just split it, the curvature calculator. I mean, you can split it in half, but if you're going to like measure half a mile instead of one mile every time, you're moving the A point like forward every time. If you use the original A point, it'll be the the whole the whole mile, which is eight inches per mile, according to the Earth curvature calculator. So what you've done is you're explaining like you you're misunderstanding the maths, and it's with your maths, it's moving the goalpost of what where the starting point is. A. What's, what's my maths? Your maths is saying that what? you can just no, wait, wait a minute. Like, use what do you mean? No, you're cutting me off. Maths. You're cutting me off. Yeah, your maths that you're using. What that you're, which that maths you're am I using? I'm pretty sure like I math. said at the beginning I don't do fantasy maths. So well, you, my you, maths you're, you're would be realistic maths. maths now. No, you're using fantasy maths because well, you're moving is? the A point every time. You're moving the A point. That's what you're doing in your maths. Like it's still That's valid because all mass is valid, you know. But, but shared it's, it's, straight line it's, it's segment. Missing. Listen to me. I have a test. It's a, it's a, I have a test that shows that a straight line lies within a plane, and we use the principle of shared straight line segments. That's so my maths. No, you're changing okay. the subject. Okay. Okay. We we're on that. I have, okay. have a question about that. Is that if you draw a straight line? on a map or a chart in practicality like let's say you draw a straight line from west to east is that a straight line let's go for a straight line from a to b from the full mile how about that no even beyond that, i would say like well no no let's just do the eight mile because we're doing apparently we're doing maths that this guy thinks that my maths is somehow different i'm just asking you you're doing fantasy or maths not, or like you, what how, you accuse other people regardless of how far it is if you draw a straight line from west to east is that a straight line because you always end up shortest distance spot. between two points the straight is line. west to east right okay but it's not west to east though is it or it, it is if you go west to east then yeah straight line what, what's up with that and how then how come if i circumnavigate west to east East to west, Hang on, this, I end up at the same. This got anything to do with the two plus two bit? Straight line, yeah. And I don't know. I don't know. If two plus two is four, and yet it's eight. Well, yeah, can you answer on. my question? If I travel, there's so many west different east. questions coming. If you go from east to west, one. from a point to well, another you, point, if you go the shortest two distance, two plus it's plus a yes. straight line. That's and I'm telling you, I circumnavigate the entirety. Would I not go back to the same spot? I, I don't know. Are you east. saying if you head east, will you yes. return to the same place you started from? If, I don't think exactly. so, no. Well, that's, you know, in, in either the globe earth or the flat earth, that is the case. And I'm telling you. Well, is people... east the cardinal direction? Yes, and so is west. And if you go east or west infinitely and you just kept going, 
eventually you will end up passing or being at the, the spot you started at. Can I you just check? Exact. Is east and west uh, perpendicular to north and south? They are. And they're also lines of latitude and longitude. Mostly latitude because you're starting, let's say you're starting at the So are latitude and longitude perpendicular? Yeah, they're okay. perpendicular to each other. Right. Um, okay, now we've got that sorted. Uh, we're dealing on the uh, vertical here, aren't we? Drop. Well, I guess it's, it'll be more perpendicular to the tangential line of the lines of latitude, which is circular. Okay. Talking about. I don't know. He's just gone west. Okay, so I think there's this two is types troubling of maps. to him because I'll it's the eight inches miles squared. I'll, I will dumb They're it just going to have people making where? videos about it. Why are you yelling over him? Why are you yelling over him? Let him stop speak. resorting where? back to the eight miles squared thing. I'm trying to explain you quickly two types of maps. There's there's this Mercator map where all the lines that go up and down, mm -hmm. they don't meet. It's got, that's got nothing place. to do with what we're talking about. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Because it's it about maps. A map. Earth. We get back to the maths. Who did the maths wrong? I'm showing that's you where we were. the math. I'm showing you the math. Yeah, right. You said about maths. my so maths. There's something wrong with track. my maths, apparently. Yeah, Excuse me, sir. Interesting. Can you please follow the stream of thought? Yeah. Thank you. We're oh, yeah, talking about two perpendicular. Two. If you travel along uh, one of these perpendiculars, okay. you'll eventually yep. end up at the same point you started from. So that apparently. wouldn't that prove it's exactly. So wouldn't that straight. prove it's not a straight line, right? What a perpendicular is definitely a straight line. Yeah. No, you got to think about it on like mean, a yeah, grander. No. You got to think about it on a grander <laughs> scale. If you go from west to east. Will you come come back to the same spot? Yes or no? Um, east and west are cardinal directions. Yes. yes. Right. They're perpendicular to each other. East, west, north, if you, south. If you circumnavigate the same latitude, right? Will have you, you ever done that? Up at the same spot? Have you ever done that? Yes, I've traveled. Okay. Circumnavigate. I also do... you've traveled east to find yourself yes, back I also, at the same place. You I also from. I also calculate our angles. For celestial navigation. Brilliant. Let him... Can we get oh, back to the eight inches per mile squared? Dude, you have low IQ for this, but it's a very simple question that a low IQ person can't answer as well, right? Yeah. Which is. Is off to something else then? Is that, isn't that yeah, an add-on? got higher IQ. We're going to get back to the math. What's well, the problem? Why is that an add-on? Well, why would you mute the guy when he's like halfway through the middle of making a he's point? fucking annoying, dude. He's off topic. Jesus Christ. Somebody was talking about the eight inches per mile squared, and I remember saying that Adam said it was wrong. Did it prov like you can watch the video of it? But the well, point we're trying to make is right. There's um. You haven't, you haven't posted the video. What? I don't see the video. Have you posted All it somewhere? All busters. QE. Can you post a link? Can you post a link so I can watch it? Oh no. Anyone can anybody find it? Does anybody know any of this sort of stuff? Do you want me to go and get it for you? I'll tell you what, I'll go and get that, and then um, we'll have a discussion about this at some other point. Because um, there's a guy doing a video about the last time I came here to talk about this, right? Now, uh, he'll probably um, make another video about this one about the incredulity okay. of whoever did whatever, right? And I think you guys are doing a good job, obfuscating well, a very I, simple I only... mathematical thing. No, no, I think that's you, man. I just showed you the diagram of why your mass was way off. Well, like we... you're moving the A point. That's what you're doing. Every time you apply 0. 0.5 curvature, 0. 0.5 mile curvature, you're moving the A point. Yeah. Like the starting position. Well, yeah, that's the point. That's the, that's the point that I was coming. The next... If you measure it in smaller and smaller segments, you will get a different measurement. Not if you start, if you keep the same A point, it won't be different. What won't be different? Uh, if you keep the same starting point, the measurement will be the same. You always start from point A. But you're redefining A. 
No, I'm not. How you're using We're talking about era. transferring a benchmark from point A to point B in reality. That's what I'm talking about. My maths involves actually doing this Bev, in, in reality. reality you get practical. the error. Bev, in reality, when you move that benchmark, you get the error and you cause the error, Bev. In reality, what error? Bev, what error are you talking that about? Error, human error. Why are you telling me that when you move your fucking measurement device from point A to point B, you're not going to have human error involved in that? No, I'm talking about a, a test where <laughs> you we. Tell me, is it, is we not, are you telling me it's perfect? Are you telling me it's always going to be perfect from lie, one point to the other point? Lies within a plane. Yes, perfect. In fact, you can't get any more perfect. Bev, we're not redefining point A. Point A always stays where it is, Bev. Yep, it yeah, does. Yes. You're you're doing that. We're not doing that. I don't know why you're doing that. And I don't know what you that, think I'm doing. Error and you're causing problems for everybody, you're, Bev. You're fantasizing about something that you think is No, a you're problem. fantasizing about something. John? Yo, uh, big Lou, you got a hot mic. Oh shit! Sorry, guys. How so, does two uh, plus two right? equal four, and then become eight? That's right. Because that's li that's linear, and then the the Earth's curvature um, formula is non-linear. It's it's not like it's it's not a linear it's... though, is it? You're doing the exactly. curvature that's... for the half mile, and then you're carrying I, on I just, to the next half mile. I just said it's not linear. Two and you plus said two it's is not four, linear, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, two plus two is four. That's no, but that's linear. not the calculation. It's linear. Either, you guys keep moving the A. Why are you moving the A? Yeah, you completely no, disregarded the, the formula. One. The formula, the formula is not linear, so it's 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 not two plus two equals four. It's it's disingenuous to compare the two. It is if, simple you, as if that. you measured it that. There you go. It's simple as that. Would you say that's incredulity then? Well, I got to watch it first. Well, no, you won't be able to watch that. That's the video that uh, PT, the uh, globe uh, geometer. It's fantastic. You don't go. You don't. You don't know what a gift you're being given. Hopefully, at some point, you might be able to reason um, what's going on here. But all, all I'm talking okay, about, I'm, I'm, I'm talking ball, about about a straight line lying within a plane. And how you well, can prove way, that in reality. By the way, a curve like the whole curvature point is not a straight line, it's a curved line, isn't it? Yeah. But when you get to the half mile, if you get to the half mile and it's two inches drop and you turn round. Measure it the other way. It's going to drop again. Oh, there? my God. So you keep dropping and you just keep dropping. doesn't matter where you go. You're dropping. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was higher, break. though. It was, it was higher a minute ago. It was higher, two inches higher. Was, was it higher? Yeah. A was two inches higher than A2 at the half a mile. And when you turn around, the high bit became low again. There's no, Yeah, there's no need Lower. to get to Aporia Canal here. We're just talking about a formula. Right and the well, so what are you guys saying? Formula. There is no drop over distance. I agree. By the way, it's a Glober formula. Like the whole thing you argue is like it's in the Glober model. It's been given to you by Robotham. No, no, it, no. Yes. It, it, the, yes. So it so it's not, originates so, from so flat matter? Earth guy, a flat Earth society <laughs> guy. Uh, so what's the Glober Earth model for like the calculating calculating the uh, curvature? What what does the Globe Earth like model say about what the curvature had to calculate? I don't know. Ask him. Have you asked them? So you, you you guys can't measure your own model's curvature? Who can't? That's weird. I can you do a test to show said... that a straight line lies within a plane. You may no, be a little bit biased here. I think you're it's irrelevant. Um, it's irrelevant. I'm asking false you. False dichotomy is in I'm play not, here. I'm asking. Full, no, no, no. You're dodging. You're dodging the question. You're dodging the question. I'm asking you. Does a Globe Earth model? have an earth curve calculator that we can mathematically predict like how much the earth curves over one mile and multiple miles because i just googled it for instance i'm, yeah. I'm not i'm not a globe earther 
So, I, I, what's the what's really, the who? What's the official Globe Earth models? Who, who made the, the calculator? Who made the calculator? So, so what does NASA who say is the, the curvature who of the Who made Earth? the calculator? Dude, I don't know, because I'm not Jesse Globe Jesse Kozlowski. Earth. He handed it off to Mick West and Walter Bislin, and then he fucked off. Okay, so what? Biggest, <laughs> so, so biggest are you, are you mistake, guys. Biggest mistake gonna... they ever made. Okay, are you going to provide like any maths, like a formula or anything, to calculate the curvature of the Earth, or are you just going to criticize your own? Model? I say, I, no, I do. Listen to me. I'll say it again. I don't do fantasy maths. So you're saying the Earth's curvature is a fantasy? That's what we say. I'm saying the curvature of the I Earth don't is hills do and valleys, language, bro. You can measure it. That's what I'm saying. The real. Well, well, what formula do you use to map? What formula do you use to measure it? Give me the formula. I do use differential leveling and triangulation okay, to plot the points. Differential leveling to find the elevation. All right. Is there a formula for the Earth's curvature that you say is an official globe Earth formula? Doesn't sound like it. It sounds like you're just like saying that the Google results. Saying it's been Earth... made up by people in this arena. Now, if you want to keep quoting them, hand it off to somebody who never really well, had old in the Earth first is, place. What, Globe Earth is including Neil deGrasse Tyson. Use the general formula that is eight inches per mile, right? So you use a different what one. Use it for you. What? what do you use? What do they use? The it Earth's for? curve to calculate the Earth's curve. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... What do they what use do that use? for? What do you mean? To calculate the Earth's curve? Yeah. I don't know. Different things? What does that matter? The, the, we're talking about the Earth's oh, curvature. Shit, this is painful, man. This I'm is painful. Just, can I just, I'm help just you out? talking Please, about reality. Can I just help you out, dude? Can I help you out? Bev doesn't think the Earth is a spinning ball in a vacuum. Right. He's talking about actual deviation from horizontal... Actual topography, rise over run, elevation changes, mountains, valleys, that sort of curvature. Actual curvature due to the Earth be being a spherical object in a vacuum of space. Yeah, the drop measured from straight lines. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, but like an hour ago, Bev said something about him being a globe earther, so I heard I it. I said the real globe. Yeah, Bev, Bev is a glober. He's just pretending to be a uh, <laughs> pretending to be a uh, pedant pedantic guy. You know, he's very pedantic just, about what he says. There's, there's, there's the pedant real globe, pedantic right? as fuck. So I can't even watch that video you linked. I know because it's not been done yet. That's the video where this guy is going to go over the last conversation I had when I came round here about the eight inches per mile squared. Amazing. Yeah. And what's the point? Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, the point is to get a general consensus about, you know, what people imagine about this formula. What what the what's idea? What's the problem of it with the is. formula, Bev? What's the what's the problem with the formula, Bev? Can you tell me? Well, originally, when I like uh, I always fine. said, I've got a test to prove a straight line. Right. It, it coincidentally it ends up saying that level is horizontal. Right, the water level is horizontal but i mean that's by the by but welcome to I, reality as i, I was doing it's that level, four horizontal. years ago there was a guy called sly sparkane and he had what he called a bending water level experiment where he did 16 100 meter individual 100 meter water levels and he was going to put them end to end. So that was 16 times 100 meters. And the point is that when you do this, uh, it gets uh -huh. smaller and smaller. Why gets smaller and smaller? Oh, fuck. The it drop. Depends, it depends if he's... Depends if he's... What drop? Oh, half of, a mile of the Come mathematics. On, <laughs> God, is this is, this is really hard work, guys. Isn't there? That's a bit of a conundrum. Isn't there? If it's a, if it's eight eight inches drop over a mile, 
And wait, then you wait. measured the half mile and it's two inches. And then you went from that point to the end of the, the other half mile, that's two inches. That's four inches, isn't it? Dave, What's the problem? Dave finish his point. Well, he seems to be told to shut up and that, you know, it's obfuscating about something, but it's no, only about a little bit of math. You and, the other guy, you and the other guy, you stop him from the middle of his uh, point. He was what going somewhere. Was and he, he was going somewhere, wherever he was going, maybe nowhere, but he was going somewhere. He was giving his explanation. You stop him. About what? He going where? Wonder. I don't know where he was going. He, he is yeah, going. I don't know. Going. I have to look around and around. There's nothing to if do with the know, that being asked about. If, if, if we don't know where he's going, how can you judge him that he's going nowhere? Let him finish his thought at least. Because that guy interjected in an ongoing conversation with something that had nothing to do with it. So stop being concerned about people like that. Um, all I was doing, like Elder Bears just said last time, as you can see in the picture of that thing, right? If you go half a mile, you get two inches. If you go another half a mile, you get two inches, according to the fantasy maths calculator. Right? Well, that's only four inches. That's not eight inches. So there's something in the processing that should be able to tell you that uh, the, the numbers don't add up. Now, the conclusion that you can come to is uh, that it's just a fantasy maths that you're imagining. But you, when you have to relate that to reality, there's a bit of a problem. Four inch per mile square or the eight mi uh, inch mile square? Which one is the problem? Um, well, you, you're measuring a drop, right? We're not measuring anything. We're measuring flat. But is you're that, measuring not, is that not what that measurement is? Eight inches per mile? Who's is that measuring? not a measurement? Because eight inches is a distance and I would call that a measurement. And the mile also. No, no, is that a now measurement? You, now you are saying you are a glober and you are measuring the I'm globe. Not, I'm just saying, I'm asking you, is eight inches a measurement and is a mile a measurement? Is I'm it? talking about measurement, measurement that is a measurement. or you are talking about the model what are you talking about Sasha you're so focused on jumping on Bev you're not actually listening are you yeah I'll it's draw I'll draw an explanation of why he's it's not, not saying it is he's not justifying it he's asking a question about it and you never measure the earth flat either that's another thing <laughs> As Chris is saying, that formula is map. used for an observer. Well, it's not. That's what McToon said to the not Professor Dave. It's not got anything to do with optics. There's no observer. That's what's so fascinating about this. You've got people arguing for and against it, and they're not understanding what they're doing. What the, what the entire thing is meant to be? Put, try and put a little bit of practicality to this, maths. Because that's what maths is there for. It's meant to describe things. This formula yeah, I'm, I'm is meant to describe it. something in reality, supposedly. Which is yeah, not I, I, I'm, I'm drawing it out so I can help you understand. 8.04 inches. You can help me understand. One more. Or you're helping everyone else understand. I think I've got no a pretty good grip got, on it. No one else is like making this claim that you split a formula in half 
like one metric of the formula, and therefore it was the Slice Arcade no that put applies. me onto it with his sixteen. Yeah. Okay, whatever, whatever. But you, you, whatever. But you're still you're still claiming you split the one mile into half a mile, and now the formula doesn't split it apply. into sixteen. Because you can definitely do sixteen one hundred meter water levels, can't you? Just get fifteen of your mates, or yeah, you know, you perhaps you can do it on your own. This is nonsense. It's like unrelated to. Yeah. Well, this is exactly why I started doing this. Yeah, because because... You, don't, you don't understand. It's a non-linear formula. It's it's not like two plus two equals four. Or one plus one equals two. It's non-linear. Well, can I point it's out again now oh. that my water level using water levels in reality was to prove that a straight line lies within a plane. That's why you, okay, I well, thought it was so interesting that Slice well, Bar came was trying to do a bending water we're level test. The, we're, we're talking about the formula that's used by globe earthers and even flat earthers for the curvature of the Earth that says eight inches per mile. You're well, saying it's two inches per half mile. No. No, you're just you're just going off on tangents and asking questions while, while I'm in the middle of speaking about your core point, where you're claiming if you measure only half a mile. Then the formula completely goes out the window. It no longer applies. It's inaccurate. No, it is the formula. Saying, it's the same formula, but on a shorter distance. Yeah, yeah, but it, so if you went half a mile and it was two inches, and you went the other half a mile and it was two inches, that's four inches. It depends over on the, point, between, doesn't over work the like mile. That. Doesn't that's work like that. Adding them, adding them together, adding them together is linear. It's not. Oh, it's the formula. The formula is non-linear. You don't add them together. The point of the formula is for a stationary you have observer. To square you don't the move. Stationary. So if you stand and look at a sphere, imaginary sphere, that's the formula holds accurate. If you move, it's gonna linearly increase. Doesn't matter if it's half mile or one centimeter, you're gonna get incremental drops. Yeah, listen to this. The level surface drops away, drops down from the horizontal plane at a rate of eight inches times the distance in miles squared. Yep. Bev, are you saying that from A to B it's half a mile, two inches, from B to C is two inches, so from A to C is two, four inches? This is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, man. I didn't know he was so retarded. <laughs> That's the thing. It's just a simple math thing. He's misunderstanding. Misunderstanding what? Like how the formula works. It's yeah. it's non-linear. But you realize what I'm trying to tell you is, in reality, yeah. you're you're measuring a drop. A drop from what? From point A, not from point B. You're you're using a drop of point B from point A. Because you're relating so, these two points together, right? And you're saying one is lower than the other. There's a drop, a measurable drop over well, I'm distance. Not, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm just like... Well, what's, what's the formula the, describing mathematically? The Earth's curvature. Yeah. Drop. Yeah. Mm. Drop. Claim to be... Yeah. yeah, but you're saying because if you split one mile into half a mile, it's only two inches drop, and then you yeah. do it again, it's only another two inches drop, then that somehow like makes just, it four inches the, for the whole mile. That's just from the formula. A different point. Yeah, it's from a different point. You're moving point A, like what I said at the very beginning. Yep. Incremental. Yeah, and you yeah. and you just said yeah. And the you more just, you just the more that increments you put in you're the to your points. measurement, the less. Okay drop you will have over one mile you will still have eight inches drop according to that uh formula yeah but if you actually measure it in smaller increments you won't well you just said if you actually measure it the thing is yeah the we, relatable we to we reality the thing is we haven't measured it because who hasn't like, measured all the it? measurements show you haven't the, measured the measurements it. show the measurements show that there is no drop. Okay. There is no curvature. Yeah. Like, let me point out again, right? I have a test 
to show that a straight line lies within a plane. It's not what I'm talking about. Right, and to contrast that, <laughs> Sly Sparkane had a bending water level test where he had 16 100 meter increments. <laughs> Yeah, but that's a straight line. That's not the curve. It's not the Earth's curvature, dude. What's not the Earth's curvature? The straight line you're talking about on a plane. I know, that's a straight line, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's, not, it's not to do with the formula. So the like curvature, that. like I oh. say, the actual curvature is the measurement of the uh, mountains and elevation changes, right? That's the bit that gets plotted as a curve. Well, generally, you people don't. measure no. over the ocean. No. But you That's disagreed with that earlier curve. on. Sorry. That's so what, I, what, 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 I, what, what I disagreed with was the whole idea that you'd, you'd use the Earth curvature um, formula and you'd split it from one mile into half a mile, and that would somehow make it that would make it two inches per half mile. But you, you get two of those put together, that's two inches each, that's four inches over one mile. I dispute that. That's the only thing I'm disputing. Well, the, the whole one question was, is um, if it's mathematics, and mathematics is just a language used to represent things, uh, like uh, if I've got two apples and I add them to two apples, then I've got four apples, right? That's maths in reality and how we use it to relate that's to one, reality. So how are you going to relate this linear. drop over distance to reality? Because you can definitely measure eight inches. And you can definitely measure a mile. Mm -hmm. Right? So how do you measure like the, the eight inches? Just like the I riddle don't. of the, 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 just, the, guy, the three guys that you split, just do split the $10 maths. meal or something and leave a tip and there's a dollar left over unaccounted for or something? Yeah, it's like that chocolate bar where you split it a certain way and it shows that you've like got infinite chocolate. Is the calculation just... accurate? The eight inches per mile squared? Over a mile, is that a, an accurate calculation? Why are you going to make I don't, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a globe earther, so I don't, I don't really believe there is a drop at all. So. Would that be science, though? Would you what, class that as science? Gonna, why are you going to measure something that doesn't exist? Would it be it's classed as science? What, what would, would what be classed what as science? science? Practical Blood application. Have science that, you have, think, you have science that of, curves eight inch per, per <laughs> mile square? You have the science? The science of what? Oh. That curves... Uh, it's like I say, dude, I don't use fantasy maths. So I have no use for it. So this is just useless. He's just you it's you guys, it's you guys that are using it. Nobody's using it. that shit. The eight inches per mile squared has been, has been given. Oh, it's global doing, looking at it and saying, that. how does that work? He's not saying it's real or it's justified. He's asking a question about it. We're not using that. It's Go given. It's given. You, you, you use it all that. the time. Sasha, you use it all the time when you're looking at things as a reference to, to whether it's there or not. You use it every day. That's I'm not what saying, you think. well, you know, how did you measure it flat then? Because, because there's no drop over good. distance, there has, has to be a value. Look, look, if there is a drop, if there is a drop over distance, there is no drop over distance. It's flat. Boom! It's measured flat. Yeah, yeah, what, what, value, what value of flat do you want? For which you value? Said flat? It's measured what's, the, flat. what's the value of flat? Ridiculous. What's the value of what? flat? Hey, Mev, what's, what's the value yours? of flat? Where did you measure it? You tell me. I don't no, have a value of flat. It's measured flat. Period. What's the value? So what's you guys the want a value, but you guys want a flat. You guys want a flat. No, you want you, you, guys don't understand. you guys are having a hard time with flatness. I don't know. You okay. guys have a hard time with no, the no. word flat, right? No, it's not about that. If it's you measured, measured flat. flat. There's no was... deviation from the laser. Is that is that what better value? for you? What value? There's no get? deviation. Zero. So zero measuring. degrees. Zero. Where? Where? With a laser. I can do zero. Right. Zero yeah. deviation. Zero deviation. I, I can measure a zero here zero. right now. Zero deviation. Who well, is this? Who's that that we're talking to? Who? 
You've just same got guy a, you've been talking to a while. Yeah, but ago. what can we call you? Because I've just got a link. There's HTTPS. Oh, buddy, right. you don't know Vlad, Bab. You don't remember Vlad? No. Get the fuck sorry. out of here. You don't know Vlad? No. Man, is that man. who it is, Vlad? Yeah, Vladimir, that was the one and only Russian fucking guy. Yeah. What was your zero then? There Easy is, devil. there is no deviation from the laser. Yeah, is the laser flat. zero? It's or? measured flat. It's measured flat. I mean, how, how no hard is this to understand? Why you guys laser. seem to be? You guys seem to be very smart people. You both, I've you guys, got a laser seem to be here. very I say there's no deviation smart from English it? people. I don't know why it's hard to. Uh, is that all we need? A laser that flat as flat. Hold on mean? a sec. Hold on, Bev. Bev, stop jumping in because you're creating chaos, mate. Let him finish what he's saying, please. Yeah, that's okay. I interrupt him. He interrupts me. It's fine. But here's the thing, Bev. Okay, I live next to like Lake Ontario. You know what Lake Ontario is, Bev? Yeah, it's one of the Great Lakes in Canada, right? Yes. Oh yeah, you, we talked about this, right? Yes. There's the mean sea level. It doesn't go up and down, but yeah, it's so so minuscule. But he, but the listen, listen. Why US is it that I can see lights across this yeah. lake over thirty miles? No, listen. I can see lights across this lake over thirty miles. Yeah, because there's no curvature, obviously. Obviously, that's there's no right. So it's flat. Now it's measured flat. Period. Right. No, yeah, that's yeah. The, you don't do. I right use now. I use the light. I use the light, right, as wow. a tool to measure whether it be obstructed or not. By the curvature of the Earth, and it's not obstructed. By the, I, and it wasn't obstructed, so it was measured flat. Now, because if there was curvature, then the light wouldn't reach my eye. Then I yeah. would be measured not flat. How yeah. is the laser a measurement? What do you mean? What, what do you mean? Do you want to value a laser? Some sort? But a laser is not a measurement or a measuring tool, is it? Yeah, it measured level. You can measure something to be level. Could you not just yeah, say so. it's measured at eight inches per mile squared? I never measured. No, no, I'm not a glober, bro. There's no eight inches anywhere, bro. So Buddy, I I'd be happy. I... Listen, if there was four inches per mile squared, it was if there was a one inch per mile squared. If there was any visible fucking curvature, my guys, how hard is this to understand? I don't give a fuck about the value, my guy. As va as long you as there's some kind of. But guess what? There is no curve. You say measurable. Does it, it measure? So it's not measured, right, Bev? Is Eight inches, a measurable. So there is no thing. measurements, right? There is no it measurements. Is a mile a curve. measurable he's, distance? He's troll. What's his name, Bev? I think he's a troll. I'm leaving. Thanks, Sears. Well, yeah, he, he's been a troll for the longest time. No, he came in here asking he, a question he, about this eight inches per mile squared. He wasn't yes, justifying yes, it or saying it exists. He's just that's saying the globe, that's the globers. That's the globers. So why, why you ask them? Go what? to the we're, not, we're telling them it's wrong, my guy. That's why we're telling he them it's points, wrong. I agree. He's you pointing out to you how it's wrong, you fucking idiot. He's pointing out how it's wrong, and you're jumping on him. Why? No, he's not. No, see, yes, we he are. Is. We're going against that. No, he's not. He's wrong. moving Go the air. To... Go to the he's guys who the He's moving the Who's reference saying? every time he moves. It's stupid. So you justify the eight inches then? I you don't care. Three, I don't care. That. That's Why irrelevant. Irrelevant to the top. Irrelevant to the topic, my guy. If <laughs> there was curvature, I move then you'd have something to say. Okay, listen, there's boys. We found curvature. It might be a ball. You know what I mean? So it doesn't matter about the fucking value at this point, right? It's like, oh my god, boys, hold on, hold on, hold on. We might. Have he said, move oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, boys! So oh my god, boys! We might have some realize. curvature. Oh, welcome Talking to Globe else. Earth, my guys. Bev just brought everybody to the globe. Oh my no. fucking god! You, you, Why are you, you doing this? Say that? Oh my god, Why? Bev! Why did you bring everybody to the? Yo, what? Scott Mackey, Why you've been trying are you this for five fucking this? years. Bev did it in one night. He brought us all back to the globe. Because Jesus you are Christ. doing. Well, for me, he took me well away from it. That's for my my experience of what he just said. It didn't bring oh. me any closer to the what globe. It showed me. It showed sure? me a big. It showed me a big contradiction. 
And if it didn't show you one, well, that's not my, my, my problem. Listen, but that's what it does I, for me. I think this is why the English people and the Russian people have a problem, right? Because I think there's a lack of fucking communication here, right? See, I'm telling Probably. Bev that eight inches per mile squared is not there. We don't agree with that. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about it. Where in the fuck did they even get this radius, right? Bev is coming in here trying to explain to us why it's wrong. Uh, no, I was trying to point you out understand? that there's going to be videos made about this. In the coming times, that's their problem. If people, um, well, I mean, obviously, Better. it's got you nothing to do with you guys. With you guys won't be interested in it at all, obviously, right? Uh, we'll just go so and then, talk how to are you for uh, like other an hour people because it. you guys don't seem to understand at all anything what? about this. What, what no. Mean? Not eight inches per mile squared. We don't understand it. Of course we don't. Can you explain it? Um, it's a fantasy mathematics that doesn't exist in reality. It has no relationship to we reality in Thank any you. way whatsoever. And you can show that multiple ways. You can show I it agree with through you. how the okay. mathematics is inaccurate through dividing it yes, up into smaller incremental that, pieces. That you can also that, that show really it. Involved. You can also show it in reality with a test using tools that establish shortest distance between two points. Measurements. Welcome to flat Earth. We know that the Earth is not flat. Yes, we know that. It has mountains. We know that. Yes, we can measure them. Thank you. Thank we you. We can measure Thank the you. elevation changes. Yes, yes, we do it as well. We do it as well. You Thank don't. you very Is much. It? You don't. Hey, hold on, hold on, you Bev. Question. Hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold discussion. on, discussion. You're not bringing question anything for Bev. New. I know, I know. Shut up. Hold on, Bev. Question for you. Is it, is it a extended plane with elevation changes? You measured it. You should be able to say. I don't know. I just, I'm I just, Bev the question I just of what live in the UK, right? I live in a little tiny uh, island. I haven't got a clue. I don't know. Never been to the extremities. I haven't been there. I, I couldn't say. Okay. Uh, what but I do can you think, say is what occurs in my reality. That's all I can keep uh, a grip on. Right, right, right. Do you think Australia is beneath your feet? Two inches, that's a long way to Australia from two uh, inches. Hold on, hold on. Is Australia south east of you, or is Australia just straight underneath your feet on the other side of the world? What do you think? I think, uh, I think reality can comport to uh, mathematical reasoning. Right, and I have, I think I have a firm enough grip on that. But somebody said I don't understand it. Right, so I don't know why you're asking me. I'm asking you, you think about I'm a Australia. Dickhead? Don't worry about where no, I asking... think Australia is, because I wouldn't know. I couldn't point to it. I, I, I haven't okay, got a clue. So... I, I, like I say, I just live so you... in a little tiny island. Come on, Bev. Just... Come on, Bev. Just quickly, can people fucking just quickly, just quickly, just quickly, can people stop fucking bringing up my country when it comes to these yeah, arguments? It's getting the whole fucking earth, man. It's a globe. Go on, Skinny. Sorry. No, I just yeah. noticed that a lot of people regarding that doesn't matter really what the axiom is, whether it's fucking you know, gun control or immigration or flat earth or whatever the case may be. People bring up my country like it's some kind of fucking proof. And each time everyone is fucking wrong. So it's probably yeah. not a good thing for any side of any argument to bring that up. Uh, that's all I'm saying. I, I oh, guess I'm not about the you Russians, could put it, but you it's could okay. Put it, you could put it in another way, right? You could say, Bev, do you think your position on the ground is antipodal to some to another position on the ground? 
Um, I think I came in here to try and see what the eight inches yeah, per see, mile fuck and you guys off. relate to. You, you the eight inches per asshole. mile. Shut the fuck Dude, up. I'm sorry, Jerry. Off. I'm sorry, Jerry. I don't what want to deal with this anymore. I'm not listening to this shit in here anymore. <laughs> it's uh, over. I will fucking start muting the Please shit fuck. out of people. Please start muting. Well, mute, bitch. You have nothing. Just feelings. Yeah, hey, don't get teed up shit at all, okay? Honestly, fucking, this guy's one of the most patient motherfuckers I've ever met in my life, and fucking, you guys have gotten to the end of his yeah, patience. Wow. Who the fuck cares about your running endorsements? Nice. I am not asking you to. I'm saying that this guy is one of the most patient guys I've ever met in my fucking life, and if you've gotten to the end of his fucking fuse, that means you're an insufferable cunt. I agree. I've what never, like, no proof, man, very few no. times have I seen T Dub lose his shit. And in this classroom right here, where he loses his shit. Right, well done, guys. Who has the globe proof now, anyway? I mean, T Dub asked him a simple I'm question. Done.